Paraprosthesis. Articulation. A joint or hinge as it touches ground. At the moment when I examine the outline drawing of neurons with receptors that look like miniature hot dogs and serotonin as triangles that float through the synaptic gap towards their target. A chemical prosthesis, Prozac, Lexapro, Effexor, pictured as a series of small balloons, joins the image, wedging itself into the space between the sausage and the bread. Reuptake of the serotonin is blocked, leading to improvements in my sensation and behavior. A caption explains it. A chemical change is taking place, and we celebrate the brain's plasticity. But as an illustration of neurotransmission in action, prosthetically altered or otherwise, I would prefer an 18th century style depiction of cells and microorganisms with little faces and even mustaches, for they remind me of Lego minifigures, and it is clear that some are good while others are evil. You can snap off their heads and attach them to different bodies, which is perhaps the same as changing your mind or tweaking the dosage. I recommend doing this often. The point was that my approach required a hinge, a moment of contact, which I hoped would not be a crash. Picture yourself picturing the inside of the cell where the illustration comes to pass without disaster. Or in other words, rather than jumping off a cliff in a pure and natural fashion, it is best to use the artificial device known as a parachute. About parachutes, I have two things to say. One, there has been an improvement on da Vinci's original design, because now parachutes have a hole at the top to let the air through. Two, in the film Kandahar, there is a classic scene in which a group of men who have lost one or both legs in exploding landmines propel themselves forward on crutches over a bare landscape, looking skyward as prosthetic legs hanging from parachutes descend slowly towards the ground. Most of the time, the men hope to sell these prosthetic limbs for profit rather than keeping them for personal use. Articulation, ball bearings, joints, design innovation, modes of friction as permanent damage, exchange, the point where original scars claim their conversion.